welcome back to Makeup by Mama G. Today we're going to be doing a Kim Kardashian inspired look using Afterglow Cosmetics. So if you guys like what you see, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just fill in my brows. I'm taking Afterglow's Cocoa Eyeshadow and I'm just using an angled liner brush. And all I'm going to do is take whatever's in the lid uh huh, and start filling in the brows. Like so. I'm just using little strokes. Now that we're done doing our brows, I'm going to take the Praline Organic Triple Eye Treatment. It's a great concealer. I like this a whole lot better than the um, Organic Concealer with Aloe. So I'm just going to pick some up from the jar with my finger. You guys can use a brush and I'm just going to dab it underneath the eye. And I'm also going to apply it to my lid as a base. So now I'm just going to smooth it out and blend it all out. So with Afterglow's Oval Eyeshadow Brush, I'm just going to pick up Cashmere Eyeshadow. I'm going to take whatever's in the lid. This is a nice, um, very peachy um, eyeshadow with a gold tone to it. And I'm just going to apply it to my crease area and up to my brow bone. This is just going to help um, give that blended effect after we apply the brown. So I'm just patting it on there. And then I'm just going to swoop it out to blend out that edge. Now with the crease brush, all I'm going to do is take suede. And I'm going to pack it into the brush. Just swirling it on there. And then I'm going to top it off. And this is what's going to intensify that crease. So I'm just going to start on the outer part of my eye. And then I'm just going to lightly just drag the color over. And I'm going to start with a little color at a time. I'm going to add more along the way. You don't want to start with a lot because then you're going to have to blend, 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 and blend it out. And it's harder when you have too much color rather than just starting with a little and building up. So as you can see, the color is starting to build up. And now I'm just going to bring it about to right here. And then I'm just going to blend Okay, now that that's all blended out, I'm going to take that oval eyeshadow brush again, and I'm going to pick up Lavish Eyeshadow, which is a pretty, pretty gold. It's like a light gold. I'm just going to pack it onto my brush, and then I'm going to tap off the extra. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat this all along the lid. So I'm going to start just right here. And you can see how crazy... And not crazy, but how crazy pigmented um, this shadow is. So I'm just patting it on there. I'm just going to pat this on the entire lid. So now I'm just going to take the crease brush. And that whole area where we just put that gold, I'm just going to blend it out. So that way the gold blends into the brown and it doesn't look so harsh. I already sprayed organic color lock into the lid and this is using Raven powdered eyeliner. This is the matte black one and it's already a pasty consistency as you guys can see. And I'm just taking an angled liner brush. I'm going to dip it into the mix that I just made and I'm going to line my eyes with a little wing like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the outer part get the hair out of the way and I'm just going to start right here and I'm just going to drag the wing out and then using the tip I'm just going to swoop it lightly so that way we get that little wing effect and then I'm just going to keep dipping my brush into the lid and add more along the way just going to connect it and then fill it in Okay, so now that it's nice and dark, um, what I'm going to take is a white eyeliner. You guys can use whatever eyeliner you guys want. And I'm just going to apply this white on the waterline. Kim looks like she used some white eyeliner, so just use any white eyeliner and apply it to your waterline. So I'm going to take Raven eyeliner. I'm going to take it dry. This isn't going to be wet this time. 
I'm going to use that angled liner brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lash line as you can see not the water line but the lash line right where your lashes are and just using dabbing motions I'm going to apply it like so so I'm just sticking to where my lashes are and I'm going to bring it inwards as well And keep adding more along the way if you need to. Start off with a little and then add some. Like so. I already curled my lashes with my lash curler and now I'm taking Onyx Mascara. And I'm going to apply that to my lashes. And also my bottom lashes as well. So as you guys can see, Kim's lashes are totally out there. So what I did was I threw some falsies on the top and some individual ones on the bottom so that way it looks like hers. And now that I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm just going to take that Praline Triple Eye Concealer and I'm going to apply it to any areas that I have redness, like right here. I'm just going to dab it on there and then blend it. So right now I'm just going to cover any blemishes that I have. So now I'm going to take my foundation in Fawn and I'm just going to use a little Kabuki brush and I'm just going to pick up whatever's in the lid and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Now with the blush brush all I'm going to do is take Smitten Blush and I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. So the last thing I'm going to do is take Afterglow's lipstick and I'm just going to apply this on like so. Hey mama. Yeah. Can you put something on for me? Mm -hmm. Hi YouTube, this is Nate. So this is the final look everyone. I hope you guys like it. I like it. So here are the final pictures. Yeah.